Hey guys, it's King Realbird back with another video, and today I will just be doing a quick video on how to memorize Square One parody. Because um, a lot of people struggle with it, and I think I have a pretty good way, sort of it. Part of it is muscle memory, other parts are like just memorizing little tricks and stuff. And so what I will do is switch these two pieces around and flip that, uh, the center piece. Um, but that's not the important part. The important part is switching these two edges. And so basically, um, I'll just do the algorithm first and I'll have the notation um, on the screen right now, so. So, that was the square one parody algorithm. And so now I'll just show you my method of memorizing it. It's similar to other people, um, people's methods, but this is, uh, it's a little different. And by the way, um, this is a chi square one. Yeah. Alright. So, first what I do, slice, you see like a kite shape here almost. Cut that directly in half. Then what you want to think of is like Rubik's um, normal 3x3 notation. So D slice D prime all the way to this line right there. Slice and then D and then slice. And then you get a barrel shape on top once you do that. And, and so... Then you cut it diagonally on the first line right here to the when you turn it clockwise. The first line you cut that there. Then it um, this is just memorizing because there's not uh, that like a good way to memorize this. You just go to the bottom and connect it to the first line clockwise. Then you uh, just split this whole shape in half and then you get like a L shape you wanna bring that all the way diagonally like that that's all you just have to memorize that too so like instead of keeping it perfectly straight slightly off slice and then this is a pretty easy part you have these two edges here you want to first bring them out of the way slice Move them in, slice. So let me just do that again. Yeah, so basically, once you got here with these two edges, you want to move these two edges out of the way, slice, bring them back into the way so they're in the slice, and then slice. And then you still keep that L shape, and then you also have an L on the bottom. You just want to make this into a cube now. So connect that like that, and then bring that down like this. If you can see what I just did, slice and then cube shape. So I'll do that one last time to run to go over everything. So basically, you first slice, um, cut this in half, this kite in half. And you can you would know if it's in ha perfectly in half because this side would um, it would be flat. It wouldn't be like bumping out like that. It'll be perfectly flat. Then you cut it and then think of um, Rubik's cube notation where it's D slice D prime slice D slice. And so that's what you basically do. So it's D slice and that's the D is not the notation but it's easier to think about it then up to that line 
slice, and then back, D slice. And you know if you did it correctly, because you would have a barrel shape, and then the almost square shape. Now you cut this barrel in half, or half diagonally, by bringing it there. You would know if it's um, on the right line because this, again, this part, not that, this part would be symmetrical to this and it would be perfectly flat. Then you s cut, and then this is just hard to remember. It's um, cut here on the first line, cut, and then just cut this whole shape in half. Now, you you know if you did it right because you would have an L shape. Now you come here, um, cut this L shape diagonally in half. So don't always remember just once it's flat there, move it one, and then sl slash, and then you get these two edges. Forget about that one right there, but these two edges, you want to move it out of the way so it's not in the slice. Slash, and then bring it into the slice, and then slash. And then now you have an L, and an L on the bottom. You connect this so it's flat, and then also connect this so it's flat. But one, you would know if it's like if it's not supposed to be like that, because one, you would have like a T shape almost here, and also these should all be the same color, right here and right there. Now you just slice, and then that's an easy cube shape right there. And so that was the parody algorithm. If you have um, any questions for how I'm, if I didn't explain right and everything then you can just tell me in the comments because I may have I may have missed out on some of the important things um, or things that I wasn't that clear on and so just tell me in the comments and that basically wraps it up for this video so remember to subscribe like and comment below for more amazing content um, in whatever topic you would like. I'm starting to do uh, Rubik's Cube videos now, but I'm still doing tech videos and everything. And so, any other questions, um, t remember to tell me in the comments because um, uh, I will do your request. And also, remember to share this to all of your friends. So, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.